let us have a look at few more questions on indian economics which sector is least impacted by pandemic related disruptions right in year 2021 22 agriculture was the sector right agriculture was one of the sector which was least impacted by pandemic related disruptions okay. so answer is wow okay as compared to global financial crisis that means in the year 2008 2009 which of the following has increased in covid 19 pandemic second year 2021 22 so the first year was very disrupted second year so you're comparing 2008 9 to 2021 22 so what has increased what has decreased whether cpi has increased or decreased uh, so cpi has uh, cpi today is uh, around 5.2% at that time it was around touching 9% india's gross fiscal deficit as a percent of as a percentage of gdp uh, whether this has increased or uh, whether this has increased or decreased so one thing is that this has definitely decreased in year 2021 22 uh, uh, so external debt as a percentage of gdp this gross fiscal deficit as well as uh, i know it is it has increased forex reserves has definitely increased it was uh, very small in in the year of 2008 9 but it has increased multiple times in uh, year uh, this guy 2021 22 now this i just show you the answer this is a very very close push uh, but uh, this has also decreased in a way external debt is a percentage of, of gdp so yes cpi inflation has uh, decreased india's gross fiscal deficit as a percentage of gdp has increased external debt as a percentage of gdp has decreased and forex reserves also have increased so it is multiple times so it is almost three times not three 2.5 something times so it is all except a and c non tax revenue consists mainly of what right the revenue of the government which is not coming from tax sources interest receipts on loans to states and union territories yes dividends from dividends and profits of psus including surplus of reserve bank of india transferred to the government of india yes external grants and receipts of for services which are provided by the central government that is also not a tax revenue but that is a receipt for the government so all of them one more thing is that in c what kind of services which are being provided they include the fiscal services right they include general services like public service commission police they include social services like education health economic services like irrigation transport communication so all of these things government is also doing and the receipts for the services which the government is getting is also the revenue for the government that's a non tax revenue for the government which of the following statements are true for the period of april to november 2021 which one are top export destinations usa followed by uae and china that's right and china uae and usa were the largest import sources so in case if they would have given any other thing like for example china usa uae that would be wrong or uae usa china that would be wrong in case of import so see the uh, the way they have ranked them and what the top destinations right so this much you should know so which one of the following are true so both are true right which of the following which one of the following is the highest share in total exports of india 2020 21 uh, so petroleum products have the highest share of exports of india highest share in total exports of india i've also brought these shares for you petroleum and prote- petroleum products 8.8% and this should be true right because of the increase in the global uh, oil prices so exports uh, they have, our, our exports have also benefited because of that pearl precious and semi precious stones 5.6 iron and steel 4.4 drug formulations and biological 7.1 and then i think gold comes right then i think gold comes 
so like this uh, so this is there which of the following is false about reserve money and broad which of the following is false about reserve money and broad money so as far as i know reserve money is m not and broad money is m3 reserve money is m not and broad money is m3 so they are saying m3 is a measure of broad money so this statement is false they are saying m not is a measure of reserve money so this statement is also false so which of them are false both are false Which state or states ranked second in Niti Aayog SDG India Index 2020-21? So Kerala is the state which was on the top, and the two states which got the same uh, index that was Tamil Nadu and Himachal Pradesh. Which sector has emerged as a top recipient sector of FDI equity inflow? Computer software and hardware, services, automobile, or, or agriculture. It was computer software and hardware, followed by services, followed by automobile. I've given you the uh, this thing here. So, computer software and hardware has emerged as the top recipient of the FDI equity inflow, with around twenty five percent share, followed by the services sector twelve percent and the automobile sector ten, uh, approximately twelve percent. Our financial system has provided for the transfer of resources from center to the states. And what are the ways in which the center would be transferring funds uh, to the states in form of tax sharing? Yes. In form of grants and aids? Yes. In form of loans? Yes. So it is all of the above. Right. So this is what the uh, your devolution of taxes. I mean, it is not that the center will have all the taxes. So center will be sharing taxes with the state. Center will be providing help to the states in terms of grants also sometimes and the loans also center can provide. So there are different articles in constitution uh, which are telling that how center has to share the revenue with the states. What is the twin deficit problem? Now this has uh, been recently in the news also. Whether it is increase in fiscal deficit and current account deficit or capital account deficit, current account deficit, deficit in income, deficit in spending of the government, it is increase in fiscal and the current account deficit, right? So fiscal deficit can be high because uh, you are reducing or you are cutting the excise duties on uh, the diesel and petrol. When you have higher import bills, that is going to increase the current account deficit. With an increase in the current account deficit, uh, there's going to be the depreciation of rupee as well. And depreciation of rupee is again going to make the imports costlier. So you have the costlier imports. So with an increase in imports, what is going to happen is that more Indian rupee is going to go into the forex market. There'll be more supply of Indian rupee in the forex market. Because of that, the value of Indian rupee is going to fall. That is, Indian rupee is going to depreciate. And deprec and with the depreciated Indian rupee, imports are going to become costlier. So that's an idea. Right? So please tell me how many of you have got how much right. Thank you, Vita.